All right, guys, welcome back. We have six KS0 connected to on this GPU. Uh, Rick, so it was designed for GPU before, self made, nothing fancy. <laughs> Used probably a six GPU, a GPU on this rig. Anyway, now it's mining Casper on KS0. So let's take a look at our setup. We are not using these guys anymore. And I'm gonna show you how we connect it. So uh, some of you reply in my comments and says um, they've been successfully connected all of these guys to just 12 volts and it's running fine. So let's do some math and make sure it's correct. Uh, however, do your own research, but I think it's pretty safe uh, in my opinion as well. So let's take a look. I, I have connected directly from breakboard P y uh, with the PSE P PCIe wire right directly to this meter and then they have splitter and then I connect to three KS so on this side and then same thing here I have the splitter three-way and connect three of the KS on this side so all I'm using is the uh, uh, one cable basically here there's two on the other side that just was my train out um, different way to connect but let's take a look at the uh, voltage it dropped slightly but it's close to 12 volts it's 14.7 amp and total three of the units consuming 175 watts this is insane so that's a lot better result that we had before and then we have same thing here it's a 1485 amps 176 watts 176.6.3 176.2 so it's fluctuated a little bit very close almost identical right uh, the voltage here a little lower but so it's roughly five amp per each unit so before we had about three and a half amp because we were using 19 volt system so on the 12 volts, we really get in a little bit extra, two amp almost, maybe one and a half amp, right? So just to make sure these connectors are designed for that amperage. So now I looked at the specs online, uh, the previously that I show you these connectors, they are rated for 10 amps, which is double what we need so i think this is pretty safe uh, if they design for 10 amp and we only using 5 amp on these guys and that's what we have the reading is three units using 1472 so it's even less slightly less than 5 amp but let's take a look at the wattage all together so now 175 here 175 176 right so that's 300 52 54 watts right at the uh, on the meters after after the uh, PSU breakboard now on our wattage we have 408 watts total but I have fans connected and guess what I did connect my switch network switch to the same route back to the 12 volts because all the network switch pretty much using 12 volts so i'm gonna use eight port switch i'm gonna connect it there somewhere this way i don't have to run this crazy amount of wires uh, all through my shed just to connect six of these guys with this bunch of the wires so all i gotta do put the switch here right next to it if i need to turn the fan here to cool that switch probably not uh, but everything set up, I have an extra space. I can use seven skis, so I don't have it. But <laughs> anyways, I have a space for that. I have six fans running and I have connected everything just directly to breaking board. This is really good news. Um, do your own research. I don't recommend doing that because you are adding amperage to your wires, to your connectors. That's you just need to stay safe. I uh, checked on mine. It's been mining for a couple hours now. Everything looks cool to me. Uh, all the miners stay cool. Everything normal how it's supposed to be. They're all mine on the network. We're gonna take a look in a second. 
So I really like that setup. So I'm gonna go and directly connect that. So realistically, you can get uh, a great quality PCIe uh, wires loose like that. You don't have to get them like this. And you just cut them at the other end and you already have three splices, right? So you can connect three wires, three positive, three negatives. So you don't have to even build the splitter. All you gotta do is just connect the wire here to this adapter or just get some different cables. Pretty sure they sell them similar that you can use quick connect and then just connect it here and power up if you don't wanna solder or attach this XT60 connectors, but I really like them. They're really solid. They're really uh, provide a good connection, 60 amp connection, and uh, really happy with them. I've been always using them for solar connectors and all that stuff. So, anyways, that's just my idea. I could have just split. Since it's already done, I'm probably not gonna do a bunch more work uh, since I have two splitters. I'm just gonna use that. I'm still waiting for two more cables. So, I did actually. Uh, use also the uh, 14 gauge wire here which that's definitely overkill for this for the 5 amp 14 gauge it's almost like a 12 amp uh, load and it's uh, designed for 15 amp i don't even gonna use one third of that so that's great i mean this wire never gonna get cut uh, i just had to make them up just so i can connect uh, back to the uh, the other two miners and have this finished set. I have the other two arrived today, so pretty much everything connected, everything running. Just need to finish my uh, cable uh, management, strap everything, get my uh, switchboard, switch network switch here on that board, and then run all the cables. I need to probably get short cables. I don't want to have this seven foot cables. I'm probably gonna get. Uh, all I need just three feet probably even and then the shorter here so I don't need to have all this bunch of cables everything gonna be short and quick connection to the switch and then one good quality cat6 wire just gonna go to my uh, network port in my shed okay so that's my uh, setup sorry for the other videos I have all these crazy guys <laughs> Adapters, you can still use those. However, uh, we got better result for basically 408. That's about two watts we're using for network switch, even less than that. I think it's one and a half if I disconnect. I don't want to disconnect because it's mining now <laughs> on this switch. Uh, so we have about two watts there. Let's disconnect the fans temporarily. I believe it's 10 watts on my six fans running at the 1000 RPM right now. It's gonna be on the uh, temperature controllers um, that I'm gonna set and stick here to one of the miner on each side. So this way the three fans gonna control this side and three fans gonna control on the other uh, temperature controller on the other side, right? So I have this little devices that I can just basically stick it in and then make sure it's working properly. All right, so uh, what else? So we, we are getting a lot better results. So look at this. Without the fans, 398 on six of the units. So before we were getting 305 on only four, which I believe that's about 60 watts difference. So we are saving insane, almost a whole K0 I can add and it would be the same uh, power consumption. So it's roughly we are getting, I want to say 65 watts per unit with all this setup. Uh, even if I connect the fans, I believe that's going to be roughly, uh, so 398 we got, right? With the, I think it's 397 with the, without the network switch. So let's do the little mass, right? real quick here come back to our screen so if we divide 397 quickly to six we are getting 66 watts per unit right so if we go to 408 and divide by six we are at 68 watts which which is great i'm really happy it's a lot better setup uh, we're getting great results 
Uh, well, on the other hand, let's take a look real quick on our mining uh, hash rate on the Casper. We don't want to even look there. That's insane. We're getting 12.78 pentahash. 12.78. That's that's just getting crazier and crazier. So it's about everywhere on the network we get 1279 here uh we got on the uh minor mining pool stats about the same 1287 everywhere across the board 1275 let's refresh 1291 yeah close to 13 and by the way on the mine stats it's showing we were at 13 pentahash today we are at 13 pentahash comparing just two months ago and a little bit and five days on june 17th when we start mining we were at 1.16 pentahash crazy 0.17 right that's just 1.17 to certain pentahash uh, it's about 11 times i believe we are at 11 times now um, difference I don't know if I'm correct certain pentahash divided by 1.17 guys we are 11 times the pentahash higher now so that means our profits in 11 times lower in caspa so our caspa rewards are lower now um, here is all my miners the temperatures looks great uh, all six of this ks0 mining now on the two by different so i have two set for k1 pool i have two of them set on caspa mining and i have two of them set on the ham pool so we'll be looking in this hash rates rewards in the next maybe uh, five days just want to compare all these three pools together uh, side by side because if you're switching the pools you're not really comparing anything because hash rate goes up real quick and um, the rewards are different every day so you have to be really like going together all six of these going to be going and my um, KS3L still doing okay I think I really I switched to hump pool guys for the last two days uh, 48 hours 5 pentahash I'm a lot happier there it's been uh, probably restarted once something happened there uh, on my end so i lost a little bit of hash for the last 24 hours but i think i'm back to uh average like five uh zero hash on this guy so that's it for now thanks for watching see you in the next one